I'm gonna show you guys how to add a part onto a model so that it stays on. It doesn't fall off. It's not anchoring. You can see when the car moves, the spare tire that I put on the back also moves with it. How did I do that? You can see it's not on the other cars, but it's staying with this car. I'm gonna show you how to do just that right now. We're gonna start with a little bit of organization. This is the Jeep I'm going to work on, but it's the same model as all of the other Jeeps, but I wanna be able to separate it, so I'm gonna call mine a uh, Super Jeep. Something like that, so that when I'm looking through my list of Jeeps, I know which Jeep I'm modifying. And then I'm going to make sure that way up here, join surfaces, make sure that is checked. If it's not checked, it's gonna be very tedious to do what we're about to do. So I'm gonna make sure that join surfaces is checked. Now let's go ahead and generate a part. I'm gonna create a spare tire, but you can create you know, wings or a mohawk or anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a cylinder and then generate that part into the level. I went ahead and already changed my color to be black, but you can make this uh, any color you want. Let's go ahead and, and for tutorial purposes, let's make it red. Now, when I move this around, you can kind of see that there's a surface on it that is being like stuck to other things. So if I come up to the spawner here, you can see that both the cylinder and the spawner have this white outline around it. That's because that is the joint. Those are the two surfaces that are gonna actually weld together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my part around here. So it's facing the direction I want it to face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down to be about the size that I want, maybe a little bit bigger here. Boom, just like that. And then I'm gonna use the select tool, not the move tool, but the select tool to grab this and glue it to where I want it. So you can see as I move it up onto the back of the car here, there's a white outline. Actually, you can't see it because the car is white. Let's change the color of the car real quick to something like blue. Now, when I take this and I move it up, you can see there's a white outline around the part on the car that it's going to stick to and around the part that is going to stick to the back of the car. And they're going to actually generate a weld. So if I take a look at the part that I just created, let's go ahead and call this spare. If I open this up, we can see there's a weld attribute or weld property to it now. There's a weld piece there. And if we went to that back of the car, we would also see a weld there. Now, you can manually add these welds. It's very tedious, so just make sure you're using join surfaces. Now that it's there, let's go ahead and make sure it is grouped into the model that is the Super Jeep. Come up here, drag it onto Super Jeep and we are good to go. That part isn't necessary unless you want to not tear your hair out when you're trying to figure out what's happening. Let's go ahead and play the game. When we jump into this Jeep and we drive around, that spare tire stays with us. This could also be you know, a jet, like a jet propulsion engine in the back of it. You can add fire to it. You could add whatever you want to it, but now those pieces are welded together for all of time or until you delete the weld off of it.